everybody, welcome to a fun science video. I'm Catherine Polstra, and today I'm going to teach you how to erupt a lemon. So what you're going to need is half a lemon, some dish soap, baking soda, food dye if you desire, some toothpicks, or you can use those popsicle sticks, and something to spoon out baking soda with, and a bowl or a tray. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to put the lemon in, um, open side up, and you're going to want to poke some holes in the lemon so that the juice comes up to the surface because otherwise the re reaction won't occur as well. And now that you've done that, you can coat it in a little bit of dish soap. Oh, and by the way, if you don't have a lemon, you can use this on other citrus fruits because this is a citrus acid experiment, not just, you know, a lemon. And then if you so desire, you can put food dye to make it fun and colorful and all that other stuff. You're going to want to separate like colors though. With the so now you're going to take a little bit, a fair amount, just enough to cover the lemon. A baking soda. And then when you put it on, spread it around. Look at that! Look how cool that is. And just a reminder, you're going to want to poke a lot of holes in there just so that the juice can actually get to the surface so you don't have some anticlimactic reaction. And so you can try this with other citrus fruits or just lemon juice or lime juice or something. Okay. I didn't poke enough holes. So you can pour extra lemon juice on top? Yeah, you can pour extra lemon juice on top if it decides not to work. So the science behind this is that the, the citric acid in the lemon juice is reacting with the base of the baking soda, which is producing carbon dioxide. And when it does that, it makes that fizzy effect. And why you add the dish soap is so that the effect is more visible because it adds extra fizz to it. So you can try this with oranges or grapefruit or limes if you wish. So you know you can see which fruit has more of a reaction to the baking soda. So I hope you enjoyed that experiment and so I hope you have a good quarantine and see you next time. Bye.